Yeah. Well, whichever. That's a group. Okay, that's a group. How many cars do you have? We want to run it. We want to run it. Are they coming from a long distance away? Long distance. About 80 kilometers away. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Very. The Turkish survey was conducted by Mission with a total of 3,940 children below the age of five. A total of 2,940 children were eligible for the supplementary feeding center. And out of that, 163 children were below 50% of the standard weight for height and were also affected by secondary infections and different diseases. We have divided the children into two groups, supplementary feeding program and the therapeutic feeding program. In the supplementary feeding program, a total of 2,000 children were so far admitted, while another 751 were registered, but not yet admitted because of the logistic problem and shortage of the resources. On the other hand, 163 children were admitted in the therapeutic feeding program, and here we see where nutrition and medication is simultaneously given 24 hours of the day. The progress report of these 163 children in the therapeutic feeding for the last three weeks is as follows. Six children died, 33 children were self-discharging, because naturally people are moving in search right, of their right. relatives anywhere. Right. And uh, two half of them were transferred to the supplementary feeding program, and 42 of them have TB case. While normal but severely malnourished children are 70 are giving them here. Mm -hmm. After feeding that and treating these children for three weeks, their progress became like this. 69% were making a linear progress and responded very quickly. 6% mm -hmm. did not respond at all and their weight became just stagnant. 25% did not respond properly and their weight was declining. Why, the would, that, why would that be? Yeah, the justification ahead. for these two uh, latter groups is still under the supervision of the medical team and will be soon found that 95% of these are TB suspects. Uh, yes. And uh, it's almost the detail of the report. And we give you the copies. Mm -hmm. copies. Okay. And we can have a look at some of the. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is what we are making the, the, the weekly report. Uh -huh. And for in case of this child, this first week progress, second week, and the third week. I see. In the case of this child, this, the progress is small. This is stagnant. Right. And this is declining. And then this is highly linear and, and, making, and we are reporting the computer data against everyone. I see. Yeah. I see. And for, for, for one a specific child, for example, you mm -hmm. have to look at This would be for, just for for one week. Okay, this would be for. for this special child number ninety nine. Right. We are giving him this in his bracelet. You can yeah. See the progress somehow linear. First week. Right. There right. is about ten something, and second week, and then third week. In this kind of ninety six, the first date, the first week was high, and the second week was down, and this. And when the doctor is visited, they say it's TB suspect since they don't have any equipment to stay, no, no X-ray even in the hospital. Mm -hmm. It will take a week or two to see it medically and they, how they respond according to the nutrition and the other treatments. Yes, yes. So in the other center, the main center where we are feeding the supplementary program, mm -hmm. there are almost 2,000 children there. Even 750 of them are yet registered, but not yet have a specialist. Mm. And when people hear that there is an ongoing feeding center in this area, they are migrating 
from all over the area, around Absolutely. 80 kilometer radius. Mm -hmm. and there is a need to open another feeding yeah. station, one or two or two or others, mm -hmm. with other nearby villages at least, to keep these people away from migrating and making an emergency camp. Yeah. So this is all run by Garden Welfare Society, mm -hmm. in cooperation with Save the Children USA, and we hopefully say very gratitude to the USA response. Well, you're certainly welcome. It's a, it's a very critical, it's a very critical intervention, and we're glad to be able to uh, to participate. And certainly, it's our pleasure to be able to bring in the commodities that we've donated today, you know, for this purpose. Now, and we certainly, uh, certainly appreciate the magnitude, of, as we can certainly see, you know, right here. And this sample card for every child. Mm -hmm. This is the nutritional report we are giving this year, the daily TV activities, the weekly reports, and it is an intensive care program for two hourly feedings. And on the other side of the field, we are giving the medical report. In the therapeutic feeding here, how frequent is the feeding? Is it two hours? It depends on the weight of the child. Right. For example, you can read from this child. Uh -huh. The child is around two kilograms. Yeah. And then every one hour is to be fed. Right. But the most beautiful uh, nutrition we could give them was the F75 we have already mm -hmm. donated. Right. And the linear protein will be high. Uh -huh. but up to now, we are giving protein and high energy milk, which right. might not be as such. Yeah. Right. It's only one hour, and there are people attending for all this. Heavy sisters, uh, community health workers, nurses, all, all watching whether he is fed well. Uh, and the other, it's maybe three hours, four hours difference with different nutrition. Yes. Well, I guess it's one thinks how fortunate, in some respects, yeah. those who were able to get here are compared to those who haven't been able to get this sort of uh, opportunity yet. And, so, and also, as uh, Haji Ibrahim was saying, in other areas that are that haven't had the, uh, haven't had the chance yet, certainly. Somehow, food was made accessible to their area. Right. In February, there was no such migration. Right. In March, when we started this feeding program, already migration started. Yeah. So yeah. Our recommendation is to keep these people in their place. Yeah. They're really safe. If at all possible, yes, that's certainly the thing, that's certainly the right thing to do, no question. Could we ask, for example, uh, this lady, where, where she came from, where her village 